Welcome back. We're here looking at the indices, and this is going to be my weekly forecast for Monday, June 11, 2022. If you like support the channel, you're going to hit the subscribe button down here in the corner, hit the like button, the bell button to see our newest videos, and let's get to it. So we'll start by looking at the NASDAQ, and as you can see, we are basically down here at the bottom, where we have rallied from the bottom. So we have the 200 moving average moving in this direction, 50 moving average moving here, and at this current stage, if we were to bottom, which it kind of looks like we have at this current stage, we we did fall towards the 200 moving average, did really hit there, it rallied, broke down, and then rallied again, and basically ended at the really at the top of this range. If we managed to break above this candlestick here, we may go head towards the 20 simple moving average up towards 14, uh, 13 uh, k. After that, it's towards the 50 moving average and then beyond that. So there is precedence for this. If you go back in history, we can see that every time we have had these major pullbacks of 25 to 30 uh, percent, with this was basically in 2020, where we had the, the coronavirus, it, the, the Nasdaq dropped by uh, roughly 35 percent and then rallied. Here, the same in 2018, dropped roughly um, to 20, 25%. And if we go all the way back, it's basically been the two, uh, 200 moving average where we have bounced. So if we were to bounce, this would be a pretty good area to start bouncing. So it doesn't really mean that the bear market is over. Uh, we may see this rally up towards the Fibonacci retracements in the long term. So if you look at those, we can see that if this was the top, this was the bottom, then we can basically see that the the 30, uh, 38.2 38 Fibonacci retracement is around here, 13.2K. The 50 is down up right here. We get really close to the 50 moving average. And then we have the 60, uh, 61.8 at the 50 moving average at this point. So if we... Um, Imagine that we rally from here and the 50 moving average will move in this direction, then we could be looking at something similar to this. So going forward the next uh, next few we a few months, I would say, we could see this market rally up towards the 50 moving average, which basically also would um, hit the Fibonacci 50 Fibonacci retracement, which then would be a question whether or not we break down from there or we continue rallying to the upside. Um, in all, both of these cases, the Fed stepped in and basically saved the market. The Fed is not going to save the market uh, as long as inflation is at, is, at, is, is at the moment. So if the Fed, if inflation comes under control, um, then the Fed will probably not be as hawkish for the market and we will see the market go higher. But uh, if we rally up towards this point and we can uh, continue seeing the Fed increase interest rates and basically um, continue with the QT um, operations, then we may see this market drop back down towards the 200 moving average. This is a scenario, but at this current stage, we need to basically rally from this bottom and breaking above the 20 simple moving average, which is roughly at 13K at this current stage, that could be a fairly good signal. Other good signal is that we have the MACD that is still bearish, but it is turning around. Stochastic has turned around, has become bullish, and the RSI is also bullish. We were at all the way down at the, at the oversold conditions in the weekly chart. And if you go back in history, every time we have oversold conditions, we see major rallies after that. So you go all the way back at, uh, as long as these charts can go also towards the Great Recession down here and the dot com bubble and so on. When you're oversold in the RSI, this market tends to rally to the upside. So it's going to be interesting. If we basically take out the 200 um, moving average, then we may see a market that just completely falls off a cliff. We can look at the, at the Fibonacci retracements for that and we are actually very close to the 50 and the 60 so we look at this we can see the 61.8 is around around this area where we have the 200 moving average so as i said if we are to bounce from an area this could be a really good area to bounce from we have the 200 moving average very close to the 61.8 fibonacci retracement doesn't mean that we can turn around here and basically bounce from this area, but usually uh, when you have the 200 moving average and also the 61.8, that 
kind of is a very good um, area to get involved in the market. But it will be seen. Um, it's going to be interesting to see what happens in the next um, uh, two to three weeks. So let's look at the uh, S&P 500. Very similar here. Did not fall as aggressively as the uh, uh, Nasdaq, but we're getting very close uh, to the um, 200 moving average. If you look at technical indicators, we can see the MACD is still very bearish, but is leveling off. Stochastic has become bullish and RSI is also bullish at this current stage. And also here, we have precedent of uh, basically bouncing off the 200 moving average or uh, roughly crossing it and then just going straight up to the air. So we have dropped roughly 30% uh, or not at this current stage, we're up to 28% at this current stage, if I calculate it right. But to the upside, we need to take out this candlestick at roughly 3,950. If you pass 4,000, then we may go to the 20 simple moving average, 4,165, and then the 50 moving average up here at 4,383. To the downside, 200 moving average should offer a massive amount of support. And if you look at the Fibonacci retracements for the S&P 500, we can also see that right here at the 200 moving average, we also have the 50 Fibonacci retracement at 3,500, which is a very round number. And these markets really like round numbers. That's where probably buyers will come back in and buy this to the upside as it has sold off quite significantly. And the yeah, jobs number on Friday was fairly good for the US economy. Uh, unemployment is not increasing and that's a good sign as long as people are basically are employed and they will basically earn money and they will also spend money and that's basically what uh, keeps the economy afloat to the upside we can also look at Fibonacci retracements for this look at that and we can see that if we were to rally from here next week then we have the 38.2 uh, 30, uh, is here at the 4,093. Uh, 4, 50 is uh, here at the 4,231. 4, and the 61.8 is at uh, 4,370. And that is just at the 50, 50 moving average. So let's look at the, the Dow Jones. So this looks far more bullish um, than the other two so also here we got really close to the 200 moving average bounce from that quite significantly pull back and then bounce yet again we are seeing our, our macd that is still bearish but it is leveling off this is the weekly chart so it will take longer for this to move uh, we have the stochastic that is bullish and our MACD rsi is bullish as well to the upside we can see that uh, that we have the we need to take out this candlestick that is roughly 31.8k. Uh, then we have the two, 20 simple moving average of 32.9k. And after that, the 50 uh, moving average. If we look at Fibonacci retracements for the upside, we see that right here at the 50 moving average, we have the 61.8. If this 50 moving average continues to move, then we'll probably be around 50 uh, Fibonacci retracement before we get to that point and then we have the 50 moving average and the 50 Fibonacci retracement and that should be significant resistance so even though we rally from here there's a lot of room there's there's still room to the upside but there's still um, areas of significant resistance so let's look at the European market European market is looking um, fairly bullish uh, considering this candlestick right here so this could be a, a double bottom this is the lows of uh, in march and these are the lows from uh, last week or this week and if this is a double bottom then we may see this uh, rally if we take out uh, 200 moving average then we have the 20 simple moving average around this area 13.8k and after that we have this a uh, double top here that we need to take out which is roughly 14.6k after that the 50 uh, moving average moving in this direction so this looks like a bottom on the market um, but keep in mind that the European economy is struggling and the outlook for the European economy is not good so 
So uh, we may see a rally, but if things don't turn around in Europe, then it will be a really, really cold winter. So this could be, this should be support resistant. This should be resistant and this should be resistant as well. And then this area around here should also be resistant. That was a terrible writing. Again, around this area should be resistant as well. So we are a very bottom. So we may rally up towards this point before breaking back down. MACD is bearish, Stokanski is bullish and RSI is bullish and we are at the very bottom. So it would make sense for a bit of a rally. Japanese yeah, Japanese uh, Nikkei, we can see that we have rallied here uh, up towards the 20 simple moving average. We have the 50 moving average moving in this direction. And if we were to rally above the 20, then we will most likely get rejected at the 50 as we have been rejected here. We are rejected here and rejected here. So 50 moving average is definitely um, an area where there's a lot of re resistance. To the downside, we have kind of this bottom here around 25.7K, which has proven to be significant support. If that breaks, then we have the 200 moving average right underneath, and then we could basically go and test that. If you look at the technical indicators, we can see the MACD is still bearish, stochastic is bullish, and the RSI is bullish as well. Going uh, to the VIX, so VIX continues to fall, and that's the reason why we're also seeing indices and so on uh, rallying um, as the volatility is decreasing and the fear in the market is basically also decreasing. So uh, we are in the weekly chart and we can see that we have a fairly negative momentum to the downside that lasted three, uh, basically three weeks. And if we were to drop below this, then we have the 50 moving average right, no, I need to write that again. We have the 50 moving average right around this area here, which should offer support and the 200 moving average in this area that should also offer support. So we may fall, but 21, point, uh, uh, 21 or 22 should be where we find massive support. If that breaks, then we are looking at much lower levels all the way down here. That's around 16.5 and probably won't go down there until the Fed basically changes its mind on this monetary um, policy. If you look at the MACD is still bearish, stochastic is bearish and RSI is bearish as well. So let's look at the 10 year. It, uh, well, did rally significant last week. We found support here at the 20 simple moving average. So we're kind of moving sideways. So momentum is kind of stalling here for the 10 year or it got significantly overstretched and need to basically the pull back. That's more the case here. So the question is whether or not we manage to break above you know, 3.2 um, in order to go higher. So we are fairly close to that area, but this week was, this candle here was very bearish and therefore we pulled back significantly, but we also found some, uh, a lot of support down here at the 20 simple moving average. If you look at MACD, it's still bearish, stochastic is bearish, and also the RSI. So, I hope you find this helpful. You will support the channel by subscribing, hit the like button, and the bell button to see our newest videos, and all my trades and all my, uh, and my portfolio are available in the link down below. So, good luck and thank you very much.